Hey you and welcome to Experiment with Optical Illusions. My name is Martin Malalu and I am a making a librarian with LA County Library. Today we'll be talking a little bit about light and how it can be manipulated to make you see things that aren't really there. Then we're going to use those manipulations to create an illusion called the Pepper's Ghost Illusion. So what is light? In a nutshell, light is made up of both charged particles called photons and waves. All of the waves are on a spectrum of varying wavelengths called the electromagnetic spectrum. The spectrum actually contains more waves than just light we can see, but when we talk about light, we're talking only about the part of the spectrum that is visible to humans. How does light make us see things that aren't really there? Illusions are created by manipulating light before we see it. One way it can be changed is by being bounced off of a surface. This is called reflection. An example of this is a reflection you see of yourself in a storefront glass or in a mirror. It can also be changed by going through a medium that is different than the one it was in before. This is called refraction. This means that light might start moving through a medium of air but changes speed and bends when it moves through a glass of water on the table. Refraction is part of what makes it look like your straw has broken in half when you put it in a clear glass of water. Light can be manipulated in other ways, but today we will be focusing on reflection. Now we will be using light manipulation to create a popular illusion called Pepper's Ghost. You've likely seen this illusion before. It's been around since the 1860s. It was used to create holographic Tupac at the 2012 Coachella performance, and it is used in the Disneyland Haunted Mansion ride to create the ghost ballroom scene. These are both done on a larger scale than we're going to tackle today, but the concepts are still the same. To create the Pepper's Ghost Illusion, you will need a CD case, you want to make sure it has a clear cover and a black back. You also want to make sure that it's not too scratched up so that you can see the reflection in it. You will need a measuring tool. You can use a measuring tape or a ruler. I have a measuring tape here. You will need a blade. You can use a craft knife or a box cutter. You will need a light source. You can use the light on your phone or a flashlight. You will need figures to create your ghostly scene. You can use two figures if you want to have a ghost and an observer of the ghost, or you can just use one if you just want to have the ghost. You will need a box. This box is six and a half inches tall, 10 and a half inches wide, and 12 inches deep. You want your box to be about this size. It needs to be able to fit the CD case, um, but you don't want it to be too big, or else you won't be able to see the illusion, or if it's too small, the CD case and everything else will not fit inside of it. You need something to make the inside of your box black, and you can do that by lining it with duct tape. You can use black paper to line the inside. You can use cardstock like this. You can use printer paper or construction paper, whatever you have on hand. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to paint the inside of my box black. You will also need clear tape to hold your figures down. Um, you can either use packing tape or craft tape. Either will work. The first step to creating the solution is to take your box and make the inside black, whether that means you line it with paper or paint the inside, either way works, but we just need to make sure that the inside is black. Once you have covered the inside of your box in black, whether you have done that in paint or paper or duct tape, we're going to move on to the next step. So we are going to make a small X on the short edge of your box. So we have this long side and we have a short side, right? So on the short side, we want to measure up one inch and over one inch. And we're going to make a small X 
at that point. You can see that I've created a small X right there. Um, from there, we're going to measure two inches out and two inches up. So you will end up with a box, a square, that is two inches by two inches. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do that, and then we're going to cut it out. So after you've created that square and cut it out, you should just have a hole right through your box. And if you line the inside with paper or duct tape, you're going to want to make sure you cut through that as well. Now that we've created our viewing hole for the illusion, we're going to add the CD case. So you're going to open your CD case to about a 45 degree angle and you're going to place it inside of your box. I have mine about half an inch from this corner right here. The black back is flush against the wall that is perpendicular to the hole. So the hole is right here and the CD case back is flush against this wall of the box right here. And I'm going to use my craft tape to secure it a little bit. You don't need a lot of tape just a little bit enough to hold it in so that it's not going anywhere. If you want to add a little bit more, that's totally fine. It's up to you. After you've secured your CD case, you want to place the figures in the box to create the illusion. So the figure that you want to be the ghost, you're going to place to the right of the viewing hole. and the image will be reflected on this CD case here. So I can now see this figure in this plastic when I look through the viewing hole. If you want to check it and adjust it, you can do that as you go so you can get the correct position for this figure. You can easily see the reflection of the figure that I have placed in the box through the viewing hole in the clear side of the CD case. So I like the positioning of the figure in the box right now, so I'm going to leave it as is. Now I'm going to place my second figure inside of the box behind the clear plastic of the CD case, and now I can see that when I look through the viewing hole, these two figures will be interacting with each other. You can see that both figures are visible through the viewing hole. One is the ghost figure that we have put off to the side, and the other one is the actual figure that is behind the CD case plastic. Since I have both figures right where I want them, I'm going to use a little bit of tape to secure them down, um, just to make sure that they don't move too much. Um, and that they're able to stand as I want them to. To complete the illusion, we want to be able to see the ghostly figure when we close the box. So in order to do that, we're going to have to make sure that our ghost stays illuminated while the box is closed. So we're going to cut a hole here as well as here so that when the box is closed, you can shine a light down over the ghostly figure. The size of this hole does not have to be exact, but you want it to be large enough to where you can get a little bit of light through. So I've created my hole right here. It's about one inch by one inch, um, and it's right over my figure that I'm using for the ghost illusion and I'm going to shine my light through here and the illusion is complete. And now you see the completed illusion with both figures visible through the viewing hole. I hope you have enjoyed Experiment with Optical Illusions. Click the link in the description to find out more about our upcoming programs. Don't forget to subscribe to stay on top of our new videos. Bye y'all.